I truly do believe that the downfall of this country will be because of wokeness and the so-called institutions of higher learning. I truly do believe that uh, students are actually coming out dumber from these quote unquote institutions of higher learning. Now, back in my day when I went to college, I did not get indoctrinated. But these kids today, man, these students today are full blown communists at a lot of these universities. They truly want to destroy this country, traditional values all the time. We're seeing it, man. We're seeing communist students on campus revolts. And the wokeness is attached to the communism. Because what we're going to be talking about here in this video is Clemson University. And this is kind of stunning, guys, because back in my day when I was in college, you'll never see this. In the library, in the men's restroom, they actually have tampons. Now, newsflash, men don't menstruate. It is a biological impossibility. The only people that can menstruate is women. But what is a woman? Now, if you actually ask a leftist what a woman is, they really can't give you a definition. It's pretty simple, man. It's an adult human female from birth. But the wokeness, man, is taking over every aspect of society, our culture. The culture is definitely under attack and America needs to wake up because this will be the downfall of this country. Now, I've been pretty critical of Republicans because Republicans pretty weak. I'm talking about the politicians because there is really, really a uniparty, guys. There's truly a uniparty. But at Clemson University, these young Republican students, they got a victory. They actually, I believe, remove tampons from the men's restroom. They have no business being in a men's restroom. Men cannot menstruate. And boy, the communist students, man, they lost their mind. They revolted. They were out there protesting. The communist students, the woke students, they lost their mind. They lost it. So let's go ahead and. And get into this over here on the Daily Mail. Clemson University students march on campus after tampon tampons were quietly removed from the men's bathroom. Why are these things in the men's restroom? That is my question right here. But let's go ahead and uh, read some of this here. Clemson University students have rallied to protest sanitary products being stripped from male bathrooms on their South Carolina campus. Dressed in bright colors, of course, you know, they got to represent the rainbow, right? While clinging to signs with messages such as, hello, it's the 21st century, around 50 students attended the protest this week, calling for the reinstatement of sanitary products in the men's bathrooms. Now, my question is, are those sanitary products in men's restrooms, are they actually really being used the way they meant to? Of course not, because men do not menstruate. It does not happen. I mean, this is ridiculous. The uh, feminine hygiene dispensaries were quietly taken away for after the uh, Clemson College Republicans slammed their presence on social media and triggered an onslaught of criticism. Take Back Pride, who organized the event, claimed machines were vandalized with hateful slurs towards the transgender community soon after the post before the university removed them entirely. OK, so the university, this is in the South, man. This is in the South. This is actually happening in the South. Amazing. Uh, quote today, we are marching for the reinstatement of the menstrual products in the men's restrooms in Cooper Library and throughout campus. Uh, Pan Tankersley from the Groot's March Committee told her fellow demonstrators. And guys, when I do mean that these um, students are communists, I do mean the students are communists because they got the um, 
the hammer and the sickle action working on that signs while they actually are protesting. Now, look at this here. This is um, the um, the sanitary dispensary right there with um, tampons, which men don't need. They don't need this. This is a waste of money, man. A waste of money. Let's be clear, man. Men don't menstruate, man. We got twigs and berries. Women, you need these. Take those dispensaries and put them in to the women's restroom. Oh, but the woke students, they don't like that. They don't like that. These Bolshevik students do not like that. And let's go ahead and uh, watch this uh, news clip here so you get a better insight on what is happening. And you're going to see that hammer and sickle, man. That, that just tells you everything you need to know. Let's roll it. Some Clemson University students are calling for action from administrators to protect LGBTQ students. They voiced their concerns today at the Take Back Pride March. 7 News' Chloe Salsameda has more. The organizers of this march say their main message is that they want LGBTQ students here at Clemson to feel safe. Marching through Clemson University's campus, students call for change. Students are still not safe on campus. They still experience harassment, hate, all of those things. If anything, the university needs to step up, needs to protect its students. Students held the third Take Back Pride March Wednesday advocating for equality, inclusion, and protection. The university has been pretty silent. They haven't released any statements regarding transphobia or homophobia seen on campus, and we would love for them to uh, make a statement to really give their support to their queer students. The march comes amid tensions between LGBTQ students and the Clemson College Republicans. Last month, the Clemson College Republicans called for tampon and sanitary product dispensers to be removed from a men's bathroom on campus. Men are men, women are women. Of course, men cannot menstruate. That. So, of course, we spoke out against that. Of course, these people think the opposite, and that's why they're out here protesting us. The dispensers were reportedly vandalized and removed from the bathroom within days. Very quickly, those were ripped down. We want those reinstated and we would love if they could be expanded across campus. Some LGBTQ students are now asking the university to take action against the Clemson College Republicans. We demand formal repercussions towards the Clemson College Republicans. We have simply stood up for biological reality and they reject what we believe and so they want us to get removed from campus. They're also requesting that the university's non-discrimination and anti-harassment policy be changed. So we want to include gender expression under the Student Code of Conduct as a protected group. We want to be heard and we don't accept anything less than that. In Clemson, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News. While not responding to those specific calls for change, the university did release a statement saying, quote, Clemson values and respects the rights of all students to have diverse viewpoints and opinions. So there you have it, guys. The communist students have broken down. And it's good, man, that they actually remove these um, sanitary dispensaries, you know, put them into the females restrooms. They have no business whatsoever being in men's restrooms. They will not get used. It is a waste of money. Men do not menstruate. I don't care what these leftists tell you. Men do not menstruate. It is a biological impossibility. I mean, these students, leftist men, don't live in reality. They just don't, man. These woke students want special rights and privileges. They shouldn't get it. They should be treated equally just like everyone else. But oh no, these Bolshevik students, man, they want a revolution. And I'm glad that the university stepped up. They better not even think about bending a knee to these communist students. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.